to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince. I'm an Army veteran. And today I will talk to you about the VA issue new warning that defaults could have catastrophic effects for veterans. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Reddit for more content. If you're a veteran and love to share your story or resource for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resources, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. As you look at my screen right now, you're going to see this article from the Military Times talking about the VA issue new warning that default could have catastrophic effects for veterans. Now, I want to share my opinion about what I think is going on after reading this article. What is going on is we know the issues with the debt ceiling and them, the VA saying that the government wanted to cut VA funding for veterans. So it's a whole lot of bickering, arguing, fussing, fighting on both party sides. And until they come to some kind of agreement and resolve, they're going to threaten on both sides. One is going to say, hey, we're not paying. The other is going to say, hey, you know, um, v- veterans, we can't pay you because this side says that, you know, they want to cut the benefits. And it's just an ongoing thing to where there's really no definite answer on either side because everybody's pointing a finger everybody's saying he say she say and it's just a big mess but what i do want you to understand is as veterans you can't put all your eggs in one basket you can't lose hope you can't lose focus you gotta focus on the main thing the main thing is your health the main thing is your um your family the main thing is not not worrying about what the government is doing. So that's why I wanted to kind of read some of this article to you so that you can get a clear understanding of what they're saying and what they have going on that us, the veterans, may need to know. So listen real quick as I let the article read for itself. VA issues new warning that default could have catastrophic effects for veterans. The Treasury Department pays $25 billion worth of bills for the Department of Veterans Affairs each Employee salaries, private health care, pharmacy costs and other programs like payments to small and veteran-owned companies that do business with the Virginia. A default on the debt on June 1st could put all those payments at risk a situation that could be catastrophic, VA Secretary Dennis McDonough said Wednesday, paraphrasing his boss, President Joe Biden. Acknowledging that such a default would be unprecedented in the immediate, short and long-term impacts unknown, McDonough said there is potential for any of the department's programs or payments to be halted or severely delayed. Army special operations could be cut 10% as military looks to conventional warfare. There is no blueprint for what happens to VA if the debt limit is reached, McDonough told reporters at a press conference. Roughly $12 billion in veterans' benefits are expected to be paid out June 1st to 7.1 million veterans or their families, and experts have said those would likely be delayed in the event of a default. But other payments could be affected as well, according to McDonough. They include $2.6 billion to health providers who treat 900,000 veterans through the community care program, $1.8 billion to medical and non-health contractors, $835 million for pharmacy costs for 57,000 payments. $3 $3 billion for other costs, including payments to small and veteran-owned businesses, and paychecks to 451,000 VA employees totaling $4.8 billion. The president has made clear that a default would be catastrophic for the American people and for our nation's veterans, McDonough said. In addition to the potential impacts listed above, a default could erase millions of jobs, potentially trigger a recession, devastate retirement accounts, and increase borrowing costs. The debt ceiling or debt limit is the amount of money the Treasury Department can borrow to pay the nation's bills. The exact timing of when the U.S. would default is unknown, as the amount of cash the Treasury has on hand is dependent on how much tax revenue it receives, but Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has warned it could happen as soon as June 1. House Republicans have demanded spending cuts in exchange for lifting the ceiling, 
while the White House has argued that negotiations on cuts should come after the ceiling is raised to ease economic turmoil and preserve the country's credit rating. The two sides have been in talks, with House Speaker Rep. Kevin McCarthy, Republican California, saying Wednesday that negotiators were heading to the White House to continue the discussions. He added, however, that both sides are still far apart, according to the Associated Press. I'm hoping we can make progress, McCarthy said. McDonough has been at odds with Republican lawmakers since the VA issued a press release in April discussing the potential impact of a GOP budget proposal to reduce overall government funding by 22 percent. McDonough has maintained that such cuts would reduce programs for veterans, including health care services and benefits. Republicans say they never had any intention to cut VA funding and accuse the VA of politicizing budget discussions, noting that the Republican-led House is considering appropriations legislation that would cover the president's request for the VA for fiscal 2024, roughly $320 billion. McDonough said Wednesday that the debt ceiling discussion is a completely separate debate. We were asked, and we continue to be asked, about what the impact of those cuts would look like, and that's what we communicated, again, that is a different thing than the default. McDonough said. The Bipartisan Policy Center has estimated payments could be missed, including veterans' benefits, if the nation defaults, based on analysis of past Treasury reports on its daily transactions. Experts see two possible scenarios for how the Treasury could try to pay U.S. bills after hitting the debt ceiling. In one, the Treasury could choose to prioritize making certain payments before others as cash comes in. In that case, how long veterans' benefits and military pay is delayed would depend on where they fall in line for priorities. Yellen has downplayed the possibility of prioritizing payments, doubting that it is technically feasible. In another scenario, the Treasury could wait until it has enough cash in hand to make a full day's worth of payments in the order in which they came due. Then, if a default happened June 1st, veterans' benefits due that day might see only a short delay, but delays for later veterans' benefits and other payments would grow the longer the impasse lasts. Roughly $12 billion in military and civilian retirement pay expected to be dispersed June 1st, along with $4 billion in military pay scheduled for June 15th, could be disrupted by a default as well, according to the Bipartisan Policy Center. So that is crazy. Um, As far as just everything they're saying, and the biggest thing I take away from this article is that there's no definites, there's no guarantees, there's no... um substantial evidence that shows that there isn't going to be payments paid out or payments um aren't going um aren't going to be paid out so we just have to kind of wait and see how this whole thing play out but i just really want to share this article with you i thank god for you know them having somebody who can moderate and read for me so that's pretty cool um something i didn't notice until after i said i wouldn't read the whole thing so I just allowed it to play the whole thing for those who, again, may be having complications on um, reading it for themselves. And I just really want to share this article because, you know, it comes at a time where, you know, there's so much going on in our nation. There's every day we wake up, there's always threats for, you know, the government to stop doing this and for the government to start doing that. And it's just so much going on. And I really wanted to just encourage you to help you understand that no matter what's being said, no matter what they're doing, no matter what they are presenting to us, they don't have the last and final say so, even though it may seem as though they do. Because the Lord is in control. I know there may be some veterans who listen to this that don't believe in the Lord, and I get that and I understand that. But I have faith and I believe and I trust them that no matter what this situation may be, everything's going to be OK. Even if I was to lose it all, as long as I don't lose him, I'm good because the Bible tells me to trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding. So I can't allow what I'm reading and what I'm seeing to dictate the outcome of my life. Because the Bible says that faith come by hearing and by hearing the word of God. So my faith is in what God's word says. And his word says that he would never leave me nor forsake me. So I'm just going to trust him through this situation. And just whatever comes my way, man, it was meant to be that way. You know, because at the end of the day, he has the final say. So he's the one that's writing our story. So it is written, man. Don't 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 go by what you see, because sometimes what you see can lead to 
you, you know, popping pills, drinking more alcohol, losing hope, losing faith, becoming down on yourself, taking your own life, taking someone else's life, going out there, robbing, killing, stealing, just doing a, a lot of things just because, you know, something happened and you made a life altering decision based off of limited information or based off of information that you had that was in the moment, which may not be full spectrum at the end of the day. So don't lose hope. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Hold your head high. Keep fighting. Keep running. Keep pressing towards the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus for those who believe that. And just don't worry about it, man, because it's all going to be okay. You know, and I know that because as soldiers, man, there was there was situations where, you know, th crap hit the fan and things were all chaotic. And it seemed like, man, there was no light at the end of the tunnel. And at the end of the day, as veterans who survived, we survived those moments and we got past that time. And when we look back at those things, we counted all joy because we know it was all a part of the process that we had to go through. So stay focused. Don't lose hope. Don't quit. This has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince, for Vet Talk. Good people, Vet Talk out.